Today's workout of the day is a three by three by three. We're gonna be using a heavy kettlebell for all of our exercises. So find yourself a heavy kettlebell and get ready to crush this one. We've got three sections. One is upper body, one is lower body, and one is core. You're gonna repeat the exercises in each section three times through, then you'll rest, and then you'll move to the next one and repeat again for the third one. Hope you enjoy this one. We're gonna provide videos with all the descriptions to follow. First up, we have a kettlebell narrow grip chest press. So your hands are under the kettlebell, gripping together, pressing the kettlebell directly up above the chest, squeezing the pecs together, slowly lowering it all the way back down. If you want to make it a little bit harder, bring your hands to the side of the kettlebell, and you're going to adduct them together to add a bit more intensity to this movement. Second up, we have a single arm bent over row. So you're gripping the kettlebell, you're pulling your lats back, driving your elbow towards your back pocket, squeezing, and then returning back to the original starting position. Quinn keeps space between his ear and his shoulder as he does this, and he keeps his spine neutral. He's gonna go for the same amount of reps on the right as on the left. If he wants to modify, he can come into a hinged position, grip the kettlebell with um, a pronated grip, and then he's going to drive the elbows back doing the exact same thing from this position. Last up in the upper body section is a kettlebell curl. So you're just gripping the handle of that kettlebell, keeping the elbows pinned tight to the side of the body as you bring the kettlebell up to your chest height and then dropping it all the way down to hip height, keeping control of this movement. First up on the lower body section, we have a reverse lunge. We're taking the kettlebell on one side, that leg stays forward, the opposite leg reverses back, dropping that knee as close to the floor as we can get it. The front leg, the knees and toes track and point in the same direction at all times, our chest stays upright. We're gonna complete the same amount of reps on the right as on the left. If we need to modify, we either find a lighter kettlebell or do these body weight with no kettlebell. Second up, we have a goblet style kettlebell squat. So we're racking the kettlebell up at our chest. Quinn used a swing to get the kettlebell up and then he's going for the W grip. So his thumbs slide through the kettlebell handle to make sure that he has a hold on it the whole time. From there, he grips the floor with his feet. He drives his knees out as he sinks his weight back into his heels and down into his squat. His core is going to be extra on fire on this one because the weight is racked up at our chest so we're making sure we're breathing the whole time and keeping our core engaged modification we would drop the kettlebell and go for body weight squats third we have a kettlebell swing so we make sure the kettlebell starts in front of our body for that first swing and then we pull the kettlebell in between our legs our forearms hit our inner thighs then we launch the bell forward by squeezing our glutes the bell comes forward our back is neutral the whole time first up in the core section we have a kettlebell dead bug so we're going to elevate the kettlebell above our chest and we're going to hold it there the whole time our low back presses into the floor and stays engaged throughout the whole movement we then extend and lower one leg at a time keeping it straight at the bottom if we need to modify we keep a slight bend in our knees as we go down our core stays engaged the whole time we don't let our lower back lift off of the floor if you need to modify you drop the kettlebell and just have your arms extended above your chest here we have a V-sit lateral raise over the kettlebell. So your back is flat, your core is engaged, you're lifting your legs over the kettlebell, keeping your knees together as you go across. You can modify by dropping your hands to the floor and then providing extra support with your hands for balance as you lift your legs over. To provide a bit more of a modification, you can have more of a bend in your knees so you'd come a bit closer to the kettlebell and then you'd lift your legs over top like so. Here we have a kettlebell oblique dip. So the kettlebell is on one side. We are ex laterally extending through our spine and then we laterally flex through the side that does not have the kettlebell. When we laterally flex, we squeeze through our obliques and we get the core activation by doing that. We're making sure our ear, shoulders, hips stay aligned the whole time. If you need to modify, you can drop the weight and use a lighter kettlebell. And if you don't have a kettlebell, grab a dumbbell.
Pfft.